This is Steve McMahon, General Manager of American Cable Vision of Coronado. No, not this. Oh, Steve McMahon, sorry. <laughs> Okay, it's, sorry about that. Well, yeah, I know. This is, yeah. <laughs> this is. Here we go, ready? <laughs> Five seconds. Four, three. Steve McMahon is the general manager of American Cable Vision of Coronado, and it's with his uh, farsight into the future and the realization of the need to create programs that are beneficial to young people and adults alike that increases their attitude that the world is not falling apart, that there's great heroes everywhere. In fact, they're probably right next door. and. He was one of the people that helped get involved with the Heroes in Training program and decided to help make it into a video that we might share with as many people as we possibly can. So we wanted to be here today to award Steve certificates, not only for himself, but for the entire staff that helped out. So Steve, we wanted to give you a certificate of appreciation for yourself and uh, one for uh, Bill, who was the uh, producer of the entire Heroes in Training program. One for uh, Joe, and uh, one for Jason Bean. And we wanted to present you with your hero's picture, and also your hero's card that you now be a hero, card-carrying hero. And we wanted to give you a picture of Bill and Joe at the American Comic Convention, the San Diego Comic Convention that we just went through mm -hmm. and to last uh, weekend in search of real-life heroes. And uh, being such an integral, integral part of this program and such a dominant force in the Coronado community, perhaps you could share the reasons why you got involved in the Heroes in Training program. Well, it, it didn't take uh, a lot to realize that uh, something like this could be beneficial to the uh, kids going to school here in Coronado. And I've always been a strong supporter of the educational proce process. And American Cable itself uh, is a, a strong supporter of uh, education here in the community and we try and do what we can to help promote that and further uh, further uh, the education of the young young children in Coronado. You're also a Rotarian and it uh, seems that we've had quite a few of those up here today and uh, again I'd like to ask you how Rotary has uh, affected your life and your vision for working within the community as a business owner. Well uh, the Rotary helps to uh, just reinforce some of the, the uh, ideas I already had and ideals that uh, I had before uh, coming into this business or into the Rotary Club. And it uh, makes it a lot easier to work in the community knowing that there are other people like-minded and trying to uh, achieve a, a common goal and uh, support community projects of uh, which the Heroes in Training program is one of them. So it just helps to reinforce and uh, uh, it's a source of uh, other people to go to when you need help or you're looking to, to put something together in the community that, you know, there's Rotarians there that are willing to help. In any community, uh, TV in particular is such a strong molder of opinions and ideas. How do you feel that uh, your uh, American Cable Vision is impacting people in a beneficial way with the type of program that you have on it? We try and uh, produce here locally programs that are of local interest and of this being one of them and, and others we've done in the past and we try and have the community involved uh, with the process as much as possible and we also cover other community events like the Christmas Parade and Fourth of July Parade. So on a local level we try and open our doors to the community and allow them to take part in uh, the broadcast experience. Uh, with the other programming that we have we try and present the widest view and the widest amount of programming that we possibly can so that people have a choice and they can make up their own mind as to uh, where they get their news and inter entertainment and information. So by providing as much information as possible, it gives the community uh, the, the best possible uh, place to seek uh, information and determine for themselves what they want to watch and not watch. I know American Cablevision has been uh, instrumental in uh, generating uh, quite a bit of money for the different uh, school foundations. Perhaps you could tell us about a couple of telethons that you've done. Well, we recently, uh, a few months ago, did our annual uh, telethon for the Coronado School Foundation, which raised uh, over $30,000, and we're very happy about that. And uh, we've also 
uh, done those, I think, each of the last uh, f five or six years that we've held a telethon, and uh, this year we broke the record of all the previous years as far as the donations we were able to raise. So we're very happy about that and uh, very happy that we're able to contribute uh, not only from a, a television production standpoint, but also uh, help raise financial uh, help for the school district to uh, help them get the supplies and uh, things that they need to uh, improve the educational process in our schools. I wanted to thank you very much for getting involved for the visual images that are created on TV have much greater impact than just the written words and just the success of this program has a lot to do with yourself and Bill and Joe and Jason and the work that you've done in filming and editing and I really want to extend my heartfelt thanks on what a great help you've been to us. Thank you very much. Thank you. You were throwing them at him left yeah. and right. Yeah. Yeah. Jason Bean is one of the top cameramen at American Cable Vision and was instrumental in filming the interviews of the Neal family. Laura Neal, who was our first uh, heroine that uh, won the Good Guys comic book contest. Jason came over and filmed the interviews where we had the Coronado High School journalism staff come over and interview the whole family on what it was like to just go through the earthquake up in Northridge and also just go through the situation where Laura was uh, hit in a, in a car by a drunk driver that broke her back and how she went through a lot of difficulty. The whole family did. Jason did just a phenomenal job on editing that whole tape. So we wanted to present to Jason a special certifi certificate of appreciation and also uh, give you your uh, hero's card. We haven't got your uh, 8 by 10 card yet, but we will. I just wanted to thank you. Your work was just exceptional. And I just wanted to know, why did you get involved in the Heroes program? Well, I started out by just shooting a little bit of video for you, but then I thought it was a good idea to go ahead and do maybe a full-blown thing and then get more involved with you because it seemed like a good idea for the high school kids to get involved. And, and um, I just thought it would be worthy to just you know, get involved with this program that you started. And you've done a really great job on putting it together and um, involving everybody in the community. I just wanted to tell you that um, yeah, I saw the first rough cut of the interviews and uh, just a straight shot and I said, oh no, I couldn't show this to anybody. And then when you changed it and uh, did the editing, it was just phenomenal. You did just a really great job and I really want to thank you very much. It was just a super effort. Well, you're welcome.